Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. I'm Disturbing Puppet, and we are continuing the Redwa DLC campaign today, which is the Imperial Guard slash Astro Militarum. Let us continue. Got a skirmish up today. Um, I think it's a fairly big one. It's, I think, a huge, so probably six or 7,000 points, something like that. Continuing to kill more orcs. Last time went fairly smoothly. We had a few guys that we sort of had to uh, throw out front to blunt the orc attack, but worked out all right. All right, we have attrition. Both sides will equal defensive positions. Take the enemy victor points while defending your own. It is a huge map with a huge force size. Yeah, maybe 6,000, 6, something like that maybe is huge. There's huge, very large, huge, massive, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly how strict the point values are. I'm uh, happy my mouse is working fine this time as opposed to last time. Just kind of freaking out last time. All right, let us continue. We'll see which units we have uh, optional for us, or available for us. Um, a lot of them have pretty good upgrades at this point. Uh, we've got some more units I'd like to level up. We're getting close to the end of the campaign, but there's still ex some space for us to uh, level up. Definitely some infantry, because I don't use them that often. But a lot of the tanks are upgraded fully. Um, I think a few of them have some spots left. We'll see if we can get those maxed out before we get to the end. Not sure if it'll happen, but you never know. In this, you only get experience for kills, so just contributing to damage um, doesn't actually give you any experience at all, which I think is sort of odd. Um, it does make it difficult to get some units like artillery up maxed out, although occasionally you'll wipe out units with them. All right, this is pretty big. Looks like we do have a knight available to us. It's really wide. Okay, so we have positions in the west, orcs hold positions in the east. Both forces have orders to advance without losing their base. So control those victory points and the turn what runs out. We can also just win by killing all the orcs, as usual. Let's see what we got. 6,000. All right. Okay, this is the knight that has the artillery and, yeah, the Gatling cannon. So he's mostly an anti-infantry knight. He's not going to do that well against other armored stuff. So we're going to have to rely on our tanks for taking out the opponent, uh, like Gorkonauts and stuff. And I'm assuming there'll be at least one because we've got a knight. Um, yeah, we'll take him. He's decent. Um, I did max out my Valkyrie here last time, just got increased accuracy. The Valkyries are okay, they do have pretty good weapons in Hellstrike Missiles. It's going to freak out when I try to do this. So the Hellstrike Missiles have uh, really good range, a lot of punching through heavy armor, um, quite accurate. So this is even more accurate because of some of the bonuses we have. This guy, what is that, extra health? Yeah, that's pretty decent actually. I do feel like the Valkyries are a little bit fragile. Um, I might take him, but I think I'm going to focus on my usual thing. We'll take all my tanks. Um, I can still get the plasma tank up. You can still level up. You're maxed out. Punisher. I don't know. I had another Punisher that I definitely got armor piercing rounds with, and then I've never seen it again. And I'm not sure what happened. I think at the end of the mission, it didn't even list the armor piercing rounds as an upgrade. So I'm not sure what happened. There's been a lot of weird glitches in this with some of the abilities and things freaking out, but uh, oh well. Some of the abilities also just don't work, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm not sure if it's certain things are not affecting certain targets or just don't work. So for example, the demolition charges, um, if I have Augurn with demolition charges trying to use them specifically on Death Dreads, it just doesn't work at all. And I'm not sure if it's because of the Augurn, I'm not sure if it's because I'm trying to use it on the Death Dread, I'm not sure if it's the demolition charge is bugged, what exactly is going on. Anyway, let's do some scouting here. At least one. This is a pretty wide map. I might want to have a couple scouts. So just extra health. That's extra armor. Take the one with the auger array. Um, I think that's extra. No, nope, extra heavy armor. Uh, force field. Yeah, I'll take force field guy. Actually, what? Looking at experience. Yeah, he's got the most of their experience. All right, we've got volley guns available, which are nice for killing infantry. Um, we've got the hotshot las guns, who are nice long range, uh, good shooties. Uh, melted guns are quite nice. I do have upgrades here, so we've got extra range. Um, we've also got extra range here. So the melted guns are quite nice with the extra range. Otherwise, it's normally four, but with this, we've got a range of six, which actually makes them a lot more useful, especially if I throw them in a chimera. So I probably take all my chimeras. I do like having the transports. You can still level up. 
Yeah, let's plan on taking a couple of the melted guns, I think. So you're about halfway to leveling up. You're maxed, but I think we want to take you. Okay, this one's a little bit further along, so we'll take you. Maybe one in two different chimeras so we can move them around on different sides of the board. Um, it doesn't leave me a lot of points left, actually. 480 isn't a ton. Uh, I can basically just grab two volley guns and that's it. I feel like I'm kind of short on infantry a bit here with this, but the knight can probably make up for that. Um, how much are... Now the hotshots are cheaper. I actually like these better because they have much longer range, so I can kind of use them a little bit better in the back to sort of cover the rear and flanks of my tanks, which is sort of where they have trouble. Um, you've got extra range, which is pretty fantastic, but you're maxed out. Uh, this guy can move faster and is a force field. Let's take you... And you just have bait. Uh, these guys have extra shots and can heal themselves. These guys have extra range and crit. I think I'm going to take the range and crit. 40 points left. We'll just grab a flamer. Okay, these guys at least have crack grenades, it looks like. So, yeah. They're a nice little distraction we can throw in a chimera, uh, run out, maybe do some burning, throw a crack grenade, and then if they die, not a big deal. All right, that'll have to do. I feel like we're a little bit low on units, but uh, oh well. I'm going for the elite troops, elite armored fist of the emperor's might here, so uh, we'll just have to deal with that. Let's see how many... Okay, there's four victory points. So we've got the two here, and then the orcs kind of in the back. That one's pretty open. Well, we've got a lot of these pipes, so they're going to block line of sight. We can destroy these, and we might need to. There's a lot of crap here. So there's actually more cover than I expected. We do have kind of a straight shot there. Hmm. That's kind of a straight line back, but then this is in the way of the objective. So... They might be coming straight down this line at me, coming straight down this line, and then here, going around, and then through, potentially. I feel like the bulk of the forces are going to be over here. So I'm actually going to put my knight over on this line, where we can kind of just head straight for the objective back there. Um, Actually, the orcs aren't going to be that close. The orcs do get the first turn, but they shouldn't be that far up. They should be around the objective, so it should be fairly safe to deploy as far forward as I can here. Um, I'm not going to get chewed up, I think, by the orcs right away. At least I hope not. I hope. Okay. Flamers, let's put you in a chimera. Melta guns, I want you in a chimera. Just to keep track of which is which. Multi guns, las guns, las guns. All right. These multi guns there. Let's go one on each side, I think. One for each objective with the multi guns. So the other one, maybe try to get through there. So somewhere around here, we can kind of go up and around. Something like that. Put you behind the barrels, and we'll put the other melty guns in you. All right, scouts. This is my non auger array scout. I think one of my chimeras has auger array as well. Um, check and see, actually. Not you. Okay, these guys have the Arbor Ray. So we can put the Scout that doesn't have the Arbor Ray over on this side. Scout with the Arbor Ray will hang out on the other side. Let's go up there. Flamer. Yeah, you can hang out over here too. That's fine. So we've got anti-infantry tank. Kind of close range tank here as well. Um, the artillery I might want to just keep towards the center a little bit so we can hit either side that we need to. Um, 
There's some cover here. So we'll hang out behind the little bit of cover we've got. I don't think the orcs will be that close. We should be okay right off the bat. Um, as long as we can hold them back, we should be all right. All right, regular tank. There's a lot of crap here, but we do have kind of a pathway up. Don't like that too much. Don't have a lot of good spots to have visibility up here. To pull you there. The big long range gun. It's probably going to do the most good somewhere where I have a good line of sight, but there's so many pipes everywhere. Uh, for now, I'm going to hang out here, and I'll decide where I'm going to go after that. It's kind of hard to see the routes because it's kind of dark, but I think we've got a route up through here. So let's have you look at that. You can hang out out on the edge. Just looking if there's a way. Yeah, they can kind of come around this side. So I'll put you over here just to kind of cover the edge, too. Just looking down this way in case they do come from that direction. All right, my infantry with the longer range I'm going to have kind of back. Just sort of guarding the rear and flanks of the uh, tanks. So I put one on each side. Kind of where the bulk of the forces are. Preferably in cover, but it doesn't matter too much at this point. So yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm kind of weighted way more on this side. I think the bulk of the force is going to come straight down this way, potentially straight down here, but I could be wrong. They might go way out around this side, but then they've got to go way out to come at me, so we'll see. All right, let's go. Storm boys and the copters will be the most dangerous thing early on. They tend to rush them out. So we'll see if I can spot them and just take them out. All right, Mr. Scout. Let's go take a look. Ooh, we found a pain boy out by himself. That's kind of weird. Actually, it's quite weird. You actually can see him just with the bolter. I wonder if I move up if this pipe's going to block. He's up high. Boy's gonna crash. And go. And somehow you can see the buggy. All right, sure. There's a pipe in the way, but okay. All right, let's bring up the other tank. Surprised I can't see him, but I guess there is this giant thing in the way. Where you gonna get out of here? I can't believe you survived that. Alright, the Chimeras will see. Um, I mean, I can grab some cover here, but then I'm blocking my own line of sight. I could just take a few pot shots uh, and then kind of back off into cover. I don't get reaction shots with these scout sentinels. If I don't kill this guy, he'll just heal himself. Nice. A little bit of sniping. Take a look out that way. You do have armor facing, so there is front side and rear armor in this. So kind of important to keep your uh, front facing the enemy, if at all possible. Okay, I think you've got the auger ray. Let me go ahead and use it. Let's see what we see. Okay. Artillery. That's bad for my infantry if they're out and exposed, but otherwise not too bad for my vehicles. Transport up here has a bunch of close combat guys. Multiple storm boys, I'm surprised. Uh, these war bikers are trouble. If I'd be in range, if I move out here. 
Maybe. Yeah, just with the bolter. I'll take a free shot. Soften up a little bit. I'm looking for targets for my artillery mainly. I'll let them walk into us and get shot up as they come. Kind of running out of angles of attack there though. I've got artillery on the knight. It is uh, on some kind of a cooldown. I'm not sure if it actually tells me. Four turns. We've got a big flamer on this thing. The gun just shreds infantry, so... It is quite fantastic at that. Um, what do you see? Why can't you move forward? I guess it's all blocked. We can't go over rough ground. Fine, whatever. All right, got a lot of fleshy targets. That's mostly what these guys are good for. We could do some damage here. Nothing out here that we saw. We've got the other auger ray we can move. If we head out this way and maybe pop it and see if we spot anything. Might want to do that before I decide what to do with the artillery. Just gonna come out and look around. It's auger ray. Okay, there is another group up there. Mainly probably guarding the objective. It's pretty hardcore. A couple flash gets, a lot of knobs. That's a nice target. They're all clumped together. Might be too far back to hit. No, oh, I can get a shot in there. All right. Well, I really want these guys to die, but chances aren't great. I'll give it a try and see. These bikers are really dangerous. So even though it's not totally ideal, take the shots there. I still have the artillery from the knight here that we can use. Uh, we could just go for the artillery and try to take it out. I might want to throw one back here just to go ahead and do some damage. Because they're nicely packed together. We've got another nice target here. The artillery is really tempting though. Um, let's soften these two up. Close combat troops you got to be pretty careful about, because if they can get to you, they can really do some damage. Okay, looks like I've got no targets for my actual cannon. It's all my artillery. So let's move up a bit. That should give us plenty of targets. How far does my flamer go? Okay, is that one, two, three, four? So I can see you with my cannon, but I can't see these guys. It's surprising. What's the range? Eight? Yeah, I think I'd be in range of them, but apparently not. Okay. Um, it's tempting to finish off the war bikers. Tempting to throw artillery back here because there's so many units all clumped together. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. It's just... Really tempting. Lots of nice, fresh, <laughs> dead orcs. Freshly dead. Um, that made a nice opening, too, so it gives us more of an option to get back there. Um, it totally wiped out a lot of these elite units, so the flash gets and front knobs, and so the guys are trashed. So that was pretty nice shooting. All right, let's just gun these guys down. I hope. These knob orcs are really tough. You can see it takes two shots to kill them off, which is quite a lot. And nobody's in range of my little stubber. The dangerous thing with the transports is if they've got close combat troops, they'll come rushing right in on vehicles, dump them out in close range, and swarm you. So that is a bit of a problem, but I think because he's got storm boys and burners and stuff in this, it's not that dangerous. The slug is the only ones that are really bad in there. Okay, I could swing you around the side just in case, just to get some more options. Let's 
stay back a little bit. You guys. Just in case storm boys come. I'm going to stand out in the open. We're far enough back that I think we'll be okay here. I just want to be in a position to shoot anything that tries to get in the flanks and rear of my vehicles here. Okay, big gun. Do you see anything? I'm assuming not because we've got its pipes everywhere. I'll try to get an angle at something here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, that gives me a shot back there. If I move up, I wonder if I can see that transport. Okay, and that gets me a shot at the transport. That's kind of what I wanted. It was right into the front armor, so we shouldn't do that much damage, but that first shot was really good. Actually, both shots were decent. Nothing's in my bolter range. Um, I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to set up that direction. If anything comes, take a pot shot at it. I can destroy this terrain and stuff here, so I could make a nice opening with a straight run at this objective. That might be the best choice over here. Um, you can actually see some of them. See if the other guys can see stuff if we move up. Now, if I don't see anything, I'm just going to start destroying terrain here. It'll take a little while to whittle down, depending on the weapons we've got. But I'll start working on it. Okay, your melted guns. I'm not surprised I'm not seeing anything. Okay, that's the tile we hit. Can you not attack it? Apparently not. Too far away. Just double checking, I didn't have a shot at anything else. I mean, the terrain tiles are kind of tough. It does take a little bit to pound through them, but I will do what I can. Yeah, no other targets. Just try to take that out. Maybe. Okay, I don't think you're going to get shots at anything, but I'll move on up. More kind of a precaution out here on the edge. Yeah, you can hit that tile. Okay. Did a little bit of damage to some of the other tiles. We've got an opening now. Cover this way just in case anything is trying to swing around the flank. Mr. Sentinel. Um, yeah, let's just gun down a few of these guys. Well, one, I guess. We did the auger array. He'll probably fire the artillery this way because it's a little bit closer, but we should be safe here. Shouldn't do too much damage, I hope. It's really devastating to infantry. It's not really that effective against armored targets. I might want to keep these guys back just in case. That artillery does kind of overshoot. It's not super accurate. Um, yeah, I'll just stay back here a little bit. We'll hold off. Once we get that artillery cleared out, then it'll be a little bit safer to move the infantry up. But they're kind of mainly here for me to just deal with stuff that comes flying in, like storm boys and death copters and things, into the flank and rear my other forces. So not bad. I would have liked if we could kill off this war biker. This transport could cause problems. Artillery is, of course, going to cause issues, but we blunted a good chunk of his front forces here. Not so much here, really, but over here, definitely. I'm going to lose a lot of vision here. A 
pretty inaccurate fire there, but we hit some enemies. Yeah, there's the transport, so it must be right there behind that. Just dumped everybody out. It's a nice artillery target. Going for the night. Storm boys could be problematic. Well, those guys are gone. Yeah, we hurt them. We didn't do that much damage, but... They've got crack grenades that also do a lot of damage. Flank and rear attacks are problematic. They're not really... The infantry troops aren't really there to kill them instantly. It's more there to have something to deal with them than follow in turns, clear them off, so that I don't just keep getting hammered by them and have my units stuck. So yeah, they're pretty badly trashed. We can just light them up here without too much trouble, kill them off. Yeah, only takes one shot, even. All right, so that problem is dealt with. You did take a little bit of a knock. So we've got a nice clump of infantry here. I'm pretty sure that transport's right there. Between you with the gun and the flamer. Actually, we could probably get the flamer in here. Really cause some problems. I can't really get out here without getting hit. So let's drop some artillery. Uh, what's good? Yeah, let's do a shot there. Just trying to look at where I can hit the most targets. That's probably it. Those three. I can hit some more elite guys here. Go in the back a little bit. Just have the one out here. Kind of wrecked a lot of that other stuff, so it should be fine over there. Uh, let's do another kind of central shot. Gonna explode. And let's keep softening up these knobs. Alright, pretty good artillery. Mr. Knight. So how does that cone look? can't tell. It's kind of, the terrain's kind of messing with it a bit. Um, so we could definitely move out. Let's see. That's only hitting two. That's only hitting two. Yeah, let's go for the more elite guys, the flames. We only get the one flame per turn. Flamers I'm not too concerned about, these burners here. The knobs mainly are what I want to kill. Um, this knob too is a little bit dangerous. I don't have a shot at the storm boys. No, those are burners. I thought those were storm boys. If they were storm boys, I definitely want them dead. Um, probably the close combat troops and the knob. 50% is not great. Alright, let's just wreck your day. A little bit of overkill, but what you gonna do? Yeah, I'll go for the knob here. Something about killing the enemy leadership always makes me happy. And let's see if we can gun you down. Especially with the orcs, it seems like a good call. Kill the enemy leaders. Don't think I'm going to get any line of sight here with you. This is a little bit problematic, but I think we can deal with it. Well, you got to level up. Uh, all right. Double reaction fire or... Actually, I already have double reaction fire. Okay, sure. Or recovery gear. Do some healing. Let's do recovery gear, I guess. I'm not sure why. That's another weird thing that pops up where you have units that... Um, 
will have the option to take something that they already have. I'm not sure why that comes up, but it does. Uh, you do have shots. We could also try to destroy this thing. If I move up, I wonder if I can see over this. Just out of curiosity. Okay, that gets me shots at the knobs. I'll take that. Okay, got a shot at the burners in the back with the bolter, or we can just clear the way. Let's try clearing the way a little bit. All right. Melted guns are there. We could definitely wreck your day with the melted guns if there's not a lot of other stuff around. Not seeing a lot of targets. You could get around potentially to the rear or flank and get some shots in on the transport as well. I don't see a lot. And got a shot there, yeah. Take care of them. We've got the choice. The battle cannon hits everyone on the tile. The last cannon's more for armored targets or big heavy stuff. So things like knobs and mega armor, that kind of stuff. Definitely want to use the last cannons, but if you're too close, got really bad chance with them. Um, so they're kind of broken. You definitely can get up there. You could get up there too, deploy the melted guns. Try to look around a little bit. Okay, do have more in the back. Yeah, I'd like to kill this war buggy, but these guys are really dangerous. Um, I might even move back here, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to hit you guys. These close combat troops are pretty dangerous if they can get up to your flank or rear on your vehicles. Just have Bernas and them. Um, it's really tempting. I'm going to go ahead and go for it here. So I think we killed off most of the other stuff. There's probably some things back guarding the objectives. I just wanted to get shots here potentially. Man, we're a little close. Disappointing. All right. Yeah, we're too close for everything. I also did end up putting them next to these guys, which I didn't want to do. So my shot chances are bad, so let's try to fix that situation. Hey, there's a kill a can. I was wondering where the armored stuff was. Dump out my melta guns. And toss some frag. We only get one action when we deploy, but it's enough, all right? We should probably even see him. Yep, all right, he's the better target. Uh, you have no vision, which kind of sucks. I was hoping we could see these guys with the Chimera. Alright, disappointing. Okay, take a few pot shots. Such a bad chance. If I can kill these guys, chance of hits really bad, but it might make it easier for me to hit other targets. Alright, let's just go for the kill can. Not sure where I want to face. I don't get a reaction shot for this guy but I'd like to be facing the enemy, if at all possible. Um, unfortunately, I can't hit these guys. We'll have to shoot here, which isn't going to be very effective. Well, we got a crit there. So we did way more than I expected. And another one. 
Well, wouldn't expect Chimera would do that well, but good job. Um, yeah, I'm mostly concerned about these infantry out here on the side. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, he's probably going to go for my Melta guns and my scouts and stuff. So I'm going to start heading up this way, just to have some extra firepower. I'm not going to be close enough to get reaction shots at them, most likely. I can't really see anything. You're stuck. Um, yeah, I'll have you look that way. You look that way. I wonder if I can get a view of anything from here. Well, I can. All right, we can see you guys. Pick a few of you off. Okay, I can live with that. So we could break some more tiles here. You already have a shot, which is weird. 5%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I might be better off just breaking another one of these if I can. Five isn't terrible. Yeah, I'll go 65. He just totally face tanked that. Yeah, these knobs are really tough. Basically, took multiple las cannon shots to the face and like, yeah, I'm still alive. I mean, it didn't feel good, but they're still alive. I think we, some of the las blasts hit that. Um, we've got multi guns. We've got flamers. Potentially, flamer might be helpful. Don't want to commit the multi guns quite yet. Just looking if I see anything. Suppressing targets. Okay, let's try to take this out. I'm taking this down, I'll bring the Punisher over for some shots. Take a little bit of a look out here with you. That was you and him mixed together. Yeah. All right, Mr. Punisher. Let's see if we can get a better shot. I'm still gonna have pipe in the way, which sucks. Try anyway though. I don't think any of that hit. I probably wrecked that. Yeah, it's almost destroyed. Well, I could send him in, deploy the flamers, and burn him out. But there's other stuff around. Covering that, yeah, that's fine. All right, um, I'm a little bit leery about bringing him up because that artillery is still back there. Come up into the cover, but if he fires the artillery out front here, it should be fine. But if he goes back a little bit, they'll get really wrecked. I think that's all my units. Yep. Yeah, we're just kind of crushing them and advancing. It hasn't been that bad at all. The skirmishes are much easier than the uh, story missions in this campaign, especially. Okay, those guys are just taken off. It's another transport, probably four guys. Yeah, it keeps going for my knight. There's a Gorkonaut. Figured there'd be at least one here. Might be one on each objective. 
Poor little scout. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. He doesn't want to charge the gap with everything, but he's still bunched up enough. Throw some artillery that way, probably. Quite a bit of damage to my knight there, actually. Take a look at the transport if I can see what's in it. Right, guys inside, you do. All right. Shooters, combo scorches, burners, pain boy. Yeah, nothing too bad. If it's a bunch of uh, close combat troops, that's really dangerous. Just regular guys, not too bad. All right. Well. You got... Yeah, you're doing all right. I've got a force field on it, so that's probably why we didn't just immediately get destroyed. Um, I do have a good shot at the artillery. I might want to just take that. I could get up and get rear shots at him. Um, that Gorkonaut, I think, was here. Start coming in and looking around a little bit. Just to see if I see anything. The amount of firepower these knobs can take is pretty amazing sometimes. Um, you're kind of stuck, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. You've got shots, too. Yeah, let's go for him if I've got an okay shot. 45, 5. Yeah, let's give it a try. So the shots got blocked. So I could go ahead and reload up the melted guns and try to get around. It's not a terrible idea. Okay, I just wanted kind of rear shots here on this transport. See if I can get some good damage. Uh, okay, not fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I could load them up, I could move up. I can't deploy them again immediately. Uh, because I do have the extra range, I might be able to get them in range. Uh, from here, maybe, we could get a shot. That'd be like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'd be in range. Even from here, I should be able to get shots into there. But then I'm really exposed for the uh, Gorkonaut back there. This knight, unfortunately, isn't really designed for dealing with Gorkonauts. It's more kind of an anti-infantry setup. Now let's blow you apart. See if I can destroy this and then shoot the infantry that comes out with him. Oh, that was pathetic for a flank shot. Can't see anything else. No, whittled him down a bit. Yeah, can I see around this to hit him? I'm not sure. From here, I should be able to see him as well. It might be a better chance to get an angle. Go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, it's just a scratch, boss. Shooting all over the place. There we go. Nice. We can get a level up. All right. Extra accuracy or extra accuracy, basically. Um... I 
I don't know which is really more beneficial here. Um, go with that, sure. Don't have a frag grenade ready. But I do have lots of shots with my knight. Kind of spraying into all of them in the area, which is nice. Uh, the stubber won't do much to most of these guys. Let's hit the burners. Okay, so your shots are kind of blocked. Let's look that way, maybe. Yeah, that's all right. Mr. Chimera, what would you like to do? Come around here. We'll try to finish these guys off. Or not. That was pretty pathetic. All right. Got armor piercing rounds on my bolter. Let's do something. I don't have to worry too much about blocking this because he doesn't take reaction shots anyway. So now he's kind of the main target from that side for the Gorkonaut, most likely. He might go after my knight instead. All right. Am I close enough? No. Go ahead and move on up. Drop some artillery back here. He's dying. Yeah, maybe we'll split some stuff up here. Fire mission received. Yeah. Kind of looking to see if it missed, if uh, any damage numbers popped up. We could know that there's more units there. Even if you can't see them, you'll still see the damage numbers show up when you hit something. Um, what do I want to shoot? The Gorkonaut pulled back somewhere. I have no idea where it is. Yeah, didn't see any damage numbers. All right, mostly infantry out front here. Not a problem. Still need to get you around. I could just destroy some of these tiles, but slowly go around. Artillery's dead, so we can kind of move you up just to kind of help cover. Okay, I do have the flamer. Got the melt -a gun. Use the Punisher here as much as I can. It's really what he's designed for, is killing these guys. As you can see. These guys still have some cover. I didn't get quite far enough over. A bit more exposed. Probably these knobs. Just try to do as much damage as I can to all of them. Pick you guys off. If I can hit. Or not. <laughs> Alright then. Tougher than the average orc. Tell you what, let's bring you around. And somehow I can see over here, just the chances are bad. Finish him off. Or not, like I said. Okay. Be that way. OK. 
Okay, let's go for you. So I could deploy the Flamer here and send him on in. It might give me some vision of something. He only would have one action. The Flamers don't get reaction shots as well. Probably just get killed by the kill -a can or maybe there's a Gorkonaut the Gork back here, but he's cheap, so uh, sure. <laughs> Got frag grenades as well. So let's frag you. Set you on fire. So if anything's out here, they'll probably go for these guys because they're out front. So we saw there's nothing on this objective, really. So just the one Gorkonaut hanging out back here for both objectives. Um, something I probably should worry about is Orc reinforcements coming in from the sides at some point. That kind of thing does happen in these missions sometimes. So just in case, I'm actually going to keep these guys back a little bit. It would not surprise me to have something pop in suddenly from the sides and come after the objectives I've sort of left behind as I move in on the orc objectives. Not at all. Especially since we're kind of rolling over them so easily, it seems like there should be some more points of orcs at some point. Okay, pain boy somewhere I didn't see. He's big enough that he's just shooting right over the cover I've got. Lucky to survive this. Yeah, there's my melted guns thrown out. Took a bunch of damage. My poor melting guns! Incoming fire. Yeah, I saw that. Be amazed they survive! One of them survives. Very barely. Um, he can heal himself up, but I can't recover guys that are dead. So that sort of sucks. It does take an action. I've got a shot. It's not good. Partially because our morale got trashed there. All right, so it seems like it's just the Gorkonaut. I don't see anything on the minimap showing up on the flanks, at least not yet. We do have some infantry targets here. Probably in range already, yeah. If we accidentally take out some of his cover, I'm totally fine with that. I'm not going to move up any further here, just in case. Alright. I could have them come over and just throw them in the other transport. Not sure that's really helpful. I've got flank shots here. Can't miss, so let's give it a try. It's kind of angling more for the kill a can, but that's fine. Nothing else I can see. Okay, everything's dead here, right? Yeah, they backed off to their... Sometimes when there's a lot of dead orcs, it's hard to tell if they're alive or dead. So I can try to run out to the side and get around. Splat. 
Okay. Flamers are kind of screwed as well. Can you see him? No, you can't. Okay. Alright. Soak up his shot. Try to hit him back. Pretty low chance. Well, I got him. And I've got a shot here. Take it. Not likely to hit, but I'll take it. All right. So you maniacs can get in the frag range of them. That grenade is... Well, you got the uh, crack grenade. Get a crack grenade off. Totally willing to have these guys die to throw a crack grenade at this. And light these guys on fire. I want to kill off this pain boy for sure so we can't heal up his units. Um, we can definitely come in from that other side and do that. So, my lone... Well, you've actually got a shot from there. Hmm, I could take a few shots. They're probably going to die then. I could heal up first. That's my chance to hit. 80% is pretty good for a few shots. It's just one dude, though. Um... That's really tempting. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I think we missed two 80% shot chances. That's fantastic. Do a quick med kit. Frag, I can't hit anything with too far away. Since I've used their actions, I can't load them up in the transport now. So let's just kill some stuff. I could go for rear shots here on the Gorkonaut. I might do decent damage. Might is the operative word there. I'm probably better off just clearing out this infantry. Since I've already kind of softened them up a bit. That's about it for my forces on that side. Like I said, I'm a little bit paranoid about stuff popping in on the flanks because I've had that happen before, so I'm just going to leave them there. Just in case. We can spot things, we can use the artillery if anything does show up. Alright, over here... Got quite a few options. The big gun can already see him. Can't miss. Just take the shots. See if we get lucky. Fifty. I guess that's blocking quite a bit. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. If I miss, I should hit that and kind of whittle it down. Bolter, you can clear him out. Okay, long range last guns. Can I get you somewhere to get a shot? Probably want to park you where he is right now. If I step up, he's going to light me up. That's not a good shot chance. All right, let's take care of this guy. Bye-bye, Mr. Painboy. 
Bolter is probably not that likely to hit. Let's try to finish off these guys. Got cover as well. Just cover the whole area there. Grab the objective. See if I'm drawn towards it. I'll try to get decent angled shots here. Shooting these things in the front, they've got a lot of armor, so definitely trying to go for the sides of the flank if I can. up. I don't know if I can get shots. I can get there safely. The red tiles just show where I'm going to get hit from. So if I move those tiles, his reaction shot will hit me. Um, I mean, it's not a great chance, but try for it. I'm just trying to keep these guys safe a little bit. Frag, I can't quite get close enough to hit anything that important. Okay, there goes his cover, but unfortunately that sort of exposes me a bit too. I could toss the frag. Oh, that wouldn't even hit the Gorkonut. Frag wouldn't do much to him anyway. Yeah, I'll take some pot shots, because why not? Do you still have troops inside? It says 9 of 16, but it's not showing me what's inside. So yeah, I'm not sure if he's got anybody inside there or not. You, I'm... Going to stay down here, just in case something does show up on this flank, too. He's not going to get in range of anything anyway. He's got a really short-range gun, so there isn't a lot of point in bringing him up. It'd take a really long time. Mr. Knight, if I move, I'm going to get hit. Is there anything else I can do? Nope. All right. I can heal myself, do a little bit of repairs. I can just shoot him from here. I mean, that's totally fine. I'm not going to miss. I'm just not going to do much damage. I'd like to get a better angle, potentially. But anywhere I go, I'm going to get lit up. He'll probably shoot back at me anyway, being as close as I am, as soon as I shoot him. I could back up, and then I should be safe. Let's see if he hits me back. This gun really isn't designed for doing this, so I'm surprised we'll get any damage here, really. It's a big anti-infantry specialized knight, so... Taking pot shots at a Gorkonaut like this just isn't going to do much. We keep moving over a little bit, though. Yeah, I'll keep the front facing, I guess. Can't get around to my flanks, really. All right, that is everybody. We've kind of got him surrounded. So if he doesn't get reinforcements here soon, we'll just whittle him down. Oh, went for the crush with your bare hands kind of option. Ow. I think he's just trying to guard the uh, last objective and keep his front towards most of my troops. You got pretty badly trashed. All right. Yeah, nothing showed up. I don't see anything on the mini-map for other enemies. At the point where it's a little bit dangerous to throw some artillery up here, but 
I just have chimeras, so it should be okay. Even if I hit my chimera, I shouldn't do too much damage. So I just leveled up my artillery. Do I want always crits or extra hit, hit points? Um, I like both of these. I'll take the always crit. Somehow my melted guns survived that round. I'm stuck because he does have close combat weapons, so I'm kind of stuck in close combat with him. Bring in my melted guns. Let's give it a shot. Really good damage there. Oh, four HP left. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can get revenge with my other melty guns. Um, that's my chance to hit 90%. I'll just take it from there on the front. Nice. That's it. I can't believe we hit the final kill with my one last melty gun dude. Excellent, excellent. Extensive target practice, so just increased accuracy with the multi guns, crack shot with the basilisks are always critting, some extra health for the Lehman Russ, always nice. I did lose a couple guys there uh, with the Flamer, and yeah, one Chimera. So not too bad. Uh, the trade-off, I think, pretty good, wiping out 37 Orc units. I'm surprised nothing else showed up. It seemed like the Orcs were a bit under strength there. But it does seem like in the skirmishes it's really kind of a cakewalk, but then when you get to the story missions, it's just this long, grueling death march to get through them. Um, they're also really long in this campaign, so I think that's what's up next is uh, another story mission. Yep, the Claw of Mork. So we'll look at that next time. Usually at this point we're kind of doing a couple skirmishes and story missions, so I think we've got story mission, we'll do, actually in this case it'll be three skirmishes, and then the last one, the Imperium Sally's Forth. So yeah, almost done with this campaign. There was one more campaign, The Horrors of the Warp, which I thought was playing as Chaos, but instead we're fighting against Chaos. I'm assuming as the uh, Space Wolves, but we'll see. But that'll be it for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in earlier campaigns um, or other Games Workshop games or other games just in general, um, old streams and other things that I record specifically for YouTube are up on my YouTube channel. That's also Disturbing Puppet. If you're watching it uh, now, watching it later on Twitch, watching it later on YouTube, I appreciate it. Thanks very much for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. That's it for me. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.